Hello everybody and welcome to your enchanted messages with the unicorns tarot reading. Before you are four different unicorns and I would just like you to look at them and you know really feel the energy of each one and decide which one of these unicorns is calling to you, has a message for you. And this message could be about anything. Um, you could put something out to your spirit guides right now and see which one um, you feel pulled towards or you could put multiple questions out and each one could represent something different for you. These are general readings, so you potentially could get something out of each unicorn, but I recommend going with the one you are feeling the strongest pulled towards. And also, fun fact, there is actually a constellation called Monoceros, which is the Greek word for unicorn. So there's a unicorn constellation, and I've left a wiki link below if you want to, you know, do a little more research into that constellation if you didn't know that it existed. So I will start with the first unicorn. If that is not the unicorn you are drawn to, go ahead to the timestamp below this video. All right, let's get right in with this first unicorn and see what unicorn is coming to give you a message. And again, this could be a message about anything, something you've been seeking guidance on, something you've been asking your spiritual team about, something that's coming up. So let's see which unicorn is coming out for you guys. Okay, so we have the Unicorn of Manifestation, and this is card 19, so I have a feeling something that you've been wanting um, to manifest for yourself, change for yourself, starting in 2019, or you were really feeling it in 2019, like why isn't this happening? It's meant to manifest in 2020, and what this says is focus on a vision beyond yourself and your unicorn will help you. Focus on a vision beyond yourself is connecting to your spiritual team and asking them, you know, what's preventing this manifestation? Do I need to evolve more? Do I need to grow? Do I need to heal some emotional baggage? Is it about timing? Do certain things still need to fall into place? Or am I reaching for something that really isn't good for me? You've got to put it out to your team and I promise you they will start answering you. And you know, I do want to do a video of the difference between spiritual signs and then self-projected signs because, um, you know, anybody who works with the law of attraction, you know exactly what I'm talking about, how you see all these signs, but they're not really adding up to much. And you're like, well, is this a self-projection? And then other times you see like a couple subtle symbols and boom, there it is. It's, you know, hard to tell the difference. So some of you could have really been struggling with that. Like you saw signs and you were like, okay, okay, but nothing is manifested um, and so you, it's left you a bit confused or you never received the answer. 2020 is the timing of this. Whatever this is for you, 2020 is the year that it will play out. Um, and I suspect it's sooner rather than later, you know, um, within a few weeks or a couple months from the time you actually view this reading. So let's pull some more unicorns and see what else this manifest unicorn of manifestation wants to tell you and I will pull three different unicorns since this is general you know to bring forth uh, information from different energies about manifestation polarity integrate your shadow side there can be no light without dark understand the love polarity wow so this is you know about balance and cause and effect and give and take and timing and also like nothing is wrong nothing is out of place nothing is out of order when you go through challenges and contrast that's not punishment it's not bad karma a lot of what we go through is for evolution and growth and expansion of consciousness which you know evolves us into a deeper wisdom a deeper em empathy and as you grow and you expand and you connect to spirit and you really trust your path and you connect the dots it's like you just see the magic of things the perfect timing of things and things that are truly not meant for you that would 
ultimately bring you greater sadness than happiness you don't want that experience and so if there's something that you've just really been held back from and it's not happening it's not happening surrender the need the desire the want to make it happen right now and align yourself to the understanding the guidance the solution uh, that evades you as to why this isn't happening yet you know align to the answer and understand that there's balance and there's good and well I shouldn't say good and bad it's more about energy don't look at it as good and bad it's energy it's experience it's contrast that you know adds depth to the experience um, overall in general so some contrast um, I feel like that's where you're really hung up on like I was getting these signs or I did all the things I was supposed to do and this just didn't pan out for me and your spiritual team really wants to help you understand why um, I don't feel like this cannot happen for you because there's a manifestation like something you really wanted in 2019 or working towards is going to manifest in 2020 but I feel like your vision of it or the path to it isn't exactly that it's a different journey and that's why this is the first card that has come out so let's see what else is coming out oh there you go polarity and balance <laughs> take time to relax indulge a little more or less set boundaries with your work so you know your team wants you to fall into an energy also that is of more joy of more happy emotions blissful emotions it, just being excited about the journey you know where is this taking me where is this leading me and for me personally sometimes that's what I have to do because I'm super ambitious and I have a lot of stamina and I'm just like go 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 I want to get this done I want to get this done I want to get this done and I'm just a one person and I only have so much energy in a day and so your team is you know bringing that to your attention that everything moves in perfect timing and even if you're eager and you're ambitious and you're like I'm gung-ho and I'm ready to do all these things you know um, get out of your head get out of like this vision of how you thought something should happen and fall into the flow like a surrender because there's really what's in store is is quite good and we're gonna pull you know more cards but it's what you want is gonna manifest but like your vision of it it's better than that like you've just got to surrender to the flow and kind of relax your energy and just trust you know and that ambition and that excitement and that stamina within you to manifest to change to achieve it will come in handy at a certain point on the journey so let's see what's next past lives ooh and this says release your past life karma you are an old soul with a deep wisdom healing your past lives will raise your vibration so some of you um, you have been working through some karma but again it's not this negative like stigma on you it's your growth your evolution there's certain things you had to understand and evolve into so you could rise vibrationally and the more that like, you go along your journey and the more your vibration rises through the expansion of your conscious which come which comes through your experience and how you process that spiritually you resolve this you evolve beyond this version of yourself the things that were left undone past life you know the lessons you were still working on you're coming to a big resolution of all of that and and in that space that you know the mind the heart the soul all come into balance for you because you are a threefold being so your spiritual team is talking a lot about tempering your energy and bringing balance within your life you know don't give so much of yourself you, you have to I know sometimes when you are working towards something you have to give every ounce of energy and of yourself but You've also got to know when to let your mind relax, let your emotions relax, let your body relax and just surrender to the flow and see where it takes you. So let's pull some tarot.
So the devil, that's that like really strong, ambitious, go, 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 go energy. That's the first thing coming out. Next is the Three of Pentacles. Things will come together for you. They absolutely will. 2020 is a year of manifestation. Uh, the hanged man um, and that's about the perception we've already picked up on that the way you thought something should happen or um, you know come into fruition isn't the way it's gonna happen doesn't mean it's not gonna happen I just feel it's even it's gonna be even better and more exciting for you but you've got to allow the shift in perception and that comes through softening your energy surrendering and going with the flow of things and next out is the eight of Pentacles that's about the learning and evolving and last is the Six of Cups. Something of the past is going to manifest in the now. And the reason why it had not is we see this karma that you've been working on, which is ultimately soul growth and evolution, consciousness expansion. And that's what you've been working on. That's what's been in your way. You see it, um, you know, as trouble as setbacks as unfairness but really it was just the contrast in your life to help shape you and evolve you into you know this manifestation whatever it is you want to achieve or change for yourself and now we're moving into 2020 and this is the year that it does happen for you but you've got to really open up your mind and allow your spiritual team to show you how this could actually unfold in a different way a much better way than you anticipated all right so let's pull a um oracle light card here this is a very very intense deck it's high vibrational and this is just some advice from the spiritual realm for you guys oh yeah how perfect is this for the message when you are feeling defeated, like, oh, this is unfair, why can't I just get a break, like, why isn't this going my way, this is an energy of telling you to, like, you know, fall back, step back, soften your energy, and surrender, and just see how things are unfolding and flowing for you, and when you can really soften your energy, you know, and you're not super emotional, you're not um, angry or frustrated or anything, you're just like in that beautiful space, your heart space, reaching out to your spiritual team, asking for the guidance, you know, is this about timing or do I need to learn some more? Do I need to evolve? All those things, you just fall back into that really soft place and they will come in and they will guide you and they will assist you and give you the answers. But what you were hoping for is going to manifest in 2020 it's just that it looks different the path to it is different than you thought it would be but it's a beautiful path and your team's asking you to surrender and allow them to come in and show you the way forward oh that's so beautiful so those are the messages attached to the first unicorn i hope that this has helped you and i am wishing you lots of love and light and blessings take care Hello, let's see what the second unicorn has to say, what messages the second unicorn is bringing. And again, this could just be guidance, this could be confirmation, this could be clarity, or this could just be a question you just put out to your spiritual team. So let's see which unicorn is coming through. We have the unicorn of closeness. And this says, your unicorn is so very close to you. Ooh, there is something much closer than you know. Um, the manifestation is closer at hand than you know. Don't give up. You're almost there. Um, you need some love, some affection. It's coming in. This is just like you are almost there. Don't give up. Um, what you're asking about is very close. It's near you. Pull some more unicorns and extend on to that. I'm excited for this second unicorn. Something is just about to happen for you. Compassion. 
It says, be gentle with yourself. Forgiveness will set you free. See the light in yourself and others. So if you've really been struggling with some heartache, some pain, um, you know, getting over somebody, getting over something that's happened to you, you are almost there. And also there's a soft energy that's coming into your life. You know, we picked up on that with that first card. So let's see what else. We have growth and this says, seek out a mentor or guide, take baby steps as you grow, be willing to learn from others. So any advice that's coming your way that is about, you know, what you want or what you were asking for in this reading, you know, outside of this reading, different advice and synchronicities, really pay attention to it. Take it to heart. Even if it's not what you want to hear or you're like, oh, that's weird. Really take it to heart. Your team is saying we are answering you and it comes through more than just, you know, readings or channeling us directly. It can come through what other people are saying to you. Somebody could just offer you the right advice at the perfect time. But what you need is going to show up along your journey as you need it. Trust that. And I'm telling you, something is right there about to just manifest cycles. Everything has its right time. Honor the cycle of your body. Tune into the moon's magic. Well, in 2020, we have six different eclipses taking place, four lunar and two solar. One uh, January 10th, a couple in June and July, or a few in June and July, and then um, November and December. So there's multiple points throughout 2020 for you guys where there's something manifesting um so whatever is about to manifest for you that's just on the horizon that's just beneath the surface that's closer than you know there's more that's going to happen or add on to or expand onto this manifestation whether this is between you and another person this is just something going on inside of you. This is a physical manifestation, a, you know, a big change you're making in your life, whatever it is for you. It's beginning now. It's it's at hand now. But there's going to be, um, you know, multiple manifestations that add on to this throughout the year. And it's really attached to the moon cycle and full moons are, you know, where we experience the manifestation of things. So look at the full moons for all of 2020 and know that, you know, those are important times for you. But also look at the eclipses because those are really significant. And lastly, the new moons throughout 2020. Sow your energetic seeds with each new moon throughout the whole year because this is a powerful time of manifestation for you. Um, the magician within is awakened and maybe in the past you feel like your manifestations were blocked or you weren't lucky or there was no magic within you. But this year it's like the magician has awoken and there's many things that are going to manifest and it starts now with this original question or guidance that you came here for. So let's pull some tarot. And you know what? Look at C, C, C. Compassion, closeness, cycles, and growth. So you've been working through a lot of growth and it's pushed you into compassion. It's made you, it's pushed you into a closer relationship and connection with yourself, with spirit. And you know, you're ending some cycles in your life, different soul growth that you've been working on, which is now um, why the timing is good because this is talking about timing. The timing is now for certain things to start manifesting for you. It's like you're ready for it. And see, yeah, look at the little baby there. You're ready. And the butterflies transforming into something new. Okay, so we have the lovers. Some of you, this definitely is about companionship and finding, you know, a really good compatible mate. Some of you, that's about friends. 
Now we have the Seven of Cups. You've really been thinking about this for a while, doing everything you could possibly do. It's closer than you think, okay? Uh, next is Justice, yes. Yes, this is uh, right in alignment with this Cycles card where you've done the soul growth, you've been working on you know all of these different things, and now 2020, the timing is right for what you've been asking for, especially around romantic situations. Seven of Wands, you are on top, you have the upper hand, It's and you've worked for that. And lastly, look at, there's the moon. Moon right there, moon right here. The moon is significant for you. Luna and all of her cycles is significant for you. I just did a reading for the 2020 um, eclipses that we are having. I can link that below for you guys just because I see this. I also did Moonology for the month of January. I'll link that as well and I intend to do Moonology for each month going forward because we are all deeply affected by Luna and her movements, the different phases that she moves through and as she's in that phase, the different signs she's moving through in each phase, it all means different things and it impacts us. So. Uh, your spiritual team is asking you to get far more in tune with Luna and her movement and what it means for you. Others of you, you know, this is like the year. Pay attention to the full moons and the eclipses because major manifestations coming in. And, you know, what you've been wanting, what you've been working for, it's closer than you think. Don't give up. Don't lose heart. Just keep the optimism high. Keep the belief high. Keep moving forward. Keep working hard because I see that you have been and what comes to you, what's manifesting for you, you have earned it. All right. Don't lose heart. Seriously, don't lose heart. And uh, those of you where this is around companionship of some kind, whether romantic or just, you know, more spiritual companionship or just a friend in your life, it's time. There's new energy coming in and you're going to meet some people that are much more in alignment with you, but you've been going through some growth and you had to clear some cycles in your life. And now 2020, you're meant for um, a lot of beautiful things to come in and unfold for you. So let's pull one final card. Hmm. Spirit Bear of 396 Hertz, and there is that magic of 369. Uh, Nick Latessa is, uh, he, there was magic. 369, you know, he's very superstitious about it. Look that up. Do a bit of research about 369 also. This here, look for different meditations on YouTube at this frequency. It will help align you, your energy, and help balance you. But the spirit bear, this is the earth mother. And so uh, mother energy is very fertile, very nurturing, very abundant. That's just another confirmation of that energy coming into your reality. But also you are about to feel much more empowered than you have been and you're going to have courage within you that you didn't have before and it's because of all this growth you've been doing and the cycles you've completed and you know really pay attention to the moon cycle because the moon you know think about it like this you know how some days you wake up incredibly ambitious and full of excitement and I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that and you're getting things done and then a few days later it's like the exact opposite. You're no longer excited for what you started, you're not feeling motivated, sometimes you just wake up super moody or in a funk and you don't know why. The, you know, Luna's movements impact all of us so to really tap into her energy and learn her and connect with her because she's a, you know, consciousness all of her own. She will give you information. She will also give you guidance along with your spiritual team and ground all of your energy. Connect with Mother Earth Gaia. Do some grounding meditations, also some meditations at, you know, listening to this frequency to help balance you. But this is your time. This is your comeback. You are just going to be so big and strong and unstoppable. Believe in yourself. And again, a lot is going to unfold throughout the year. So those are your messages for that second unicorn. I am sending you lots of love and light and blessings. Take care.
Hello, let's see what this third unicorn has to say, what sort of guidance is going to be offered to you guys. Ooh, almost dropped those. So, third unicorn, what messages? Okay, so we have the unicorn of wisdom coming through. Act with wisdom and people will respect you. You are being told to hold your ground, you know, come from a place of integrity. And if you know what you are doing is right and what you're saying is right and it's truthful and you're being honest with yourself, let nothing make you fear. Let nothing intimidate you. Let nothing try to push you over. Stand your ground. But also with wisdom... Sometimes, you know, you have to stand your ground quietly and just know, regardless of what's happening externally, don't be swayed within. Remain strong, remain bold, remain brave, because you don't know what's going to happen and the way everything is going to turn out and unfold. So let's pull some more cards. Um, I'm going to pull three to see if we get, you know, different situations coming through or if it's just um, all three speaking to each other. But it's like you've really got to trust yourself and not be swayed by anybody else. And it, so if you've been wondering about something and you're and people are not really being positive and encouraging to you, it's like close out all that noise and listen to what your heart is saying. Like that's where the truth is. And all of this passion do what excites you get fired up about your life increase your energy level yeah you've got to listen to yourself and go with the beat of your own drum right now regardless of what anybody has to say about it what they think about it or what they feel about it also um, I really feel strongly like you've got to listen to yourself even if it seems like oh am I just crazy or am I wrong or that's just you know who would believe that you can't you've got to ignore all of that and really go with where you are feeling drawn within because with the passion there you are being drawn okay patience coming through and it says P pause before you take action trust the divine timing is at work be patient and play whilst you wait very beautiful unicorn right there all right so also a message to connect to that intuition but you know don't jump the gun and here's the thing sometimes people are like well how do I know when it's the right time like how will I know you'll just know like you'll just know and you know, maybe things have been taking a while or longer than you had hoped or anticipated and that's why you might be losing heart or there may be people external to you that are giving you a hard time, but just continue forward. You, It's like you know or you've had this vision of something and you're like, I just know, but there's very little evidence of it right now and that's why your spiritual team is coming in so strong to continue to encourage you forward and saying trust yourself, be an unmovable force, let nobody you know, intimidate you or make you afraid or make you question yourself. Trust the pulling and the promptings from within. Ooh, and now we have action. Now is the perfect time to act. Take inspired action towards your dreams and move forward with confidence. Yay. So uh, the uh, manifestation or the time to make your move or whatever that is for you personally is almost upon you. And, but it's like don't jump the gun. You'll know. You will know within when it's time to say what you got to say, do what you've got to do, um, let go, move on, whatever it is for you personally. You'll know it inside. You'll feel it. There will be no mistake about it. So don't worry about, you know, am I doing the right things or am I missing out or just let your mental body relax drop into your soul because you have all the wisdom you need right there and it will give you it will guide you it will pull you in the right direction at the very perfect time okay let's pull some tarot
the devil yeah don't obsess don't worry it's like all is well and you'll feel it and if you just if you stay caught up in your head you know over analyzing over guessing yourself thinking and worrying you'll it just oh it won't feel good and you'll be confused and you'll miss the signals but if you just trust yourself and allow the mental body to relax and not worry about what could happen and all those things and just go with the flow you will not miss the mark you won't like your team wants you to know that you will not miss the mark but if you stay super um, anxious in the mental body that energy you may miss the mark but the more that you surrender and go with the flow you'll everything just boom 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 next it, yeah right there the six of rods it's gonna work out just fine the star, beautiful, beautiful, blessed, right there. Page of Rods, new beginning, new start, new offer, new opportunity. Um, the prompting to act, to move forward, to say what you got to say, do what you got to do. So it's it's soon, it's going to happen soon, and you will know there will be no mistake for you. You'll be like, okay, yeah, this is my green light go. Yep, because look at Ace of Cups right there. I like this reading. Absolutely. Don't worry. Um, don't get ahead of yourself. Trust yourself because all along you've been feeling like you just know how something's going to happen or play out or work out or um, for you or for somebody else. And you've just got to trust yourself even if the external reality doesn't really support that just yet. Trust yourself. Don't worry, don't stress, don't obsess, don't overanalyze. Really just say, okay, angels, I'm trusting you. You're giving me this message, so I'm going to trust you, and I'm going to trust the flow of this. Because after that, after we relax the mental body, we have the six of wands, the star, the page of wands, and then the ace of cups. That's beautiful energy of recognition, of reward, wishes coming in, hope being restored, optimism being restored, new opportunity coming your way, knowing when to act because of what's being offered to you or um, what's now manifesting and you're emotionally fulfilled. So whatever this is that you came here for advice, don't worry. Like what is supposed to happen for you it's gonna unfold and it looks really good it doesn't look disappointing like oh you've just got to trust the path and I know things it doesn't feel like that it's like your team is saying stop worrying so much and just trust your journey and trust your intuition because what you've been feeling inside is telling you the truth but you get confused because your mind gets all you know um, mixed up and then you're like well is that my intuition so relax that mental body Tell yourself, I'm not going to worry. I'm not going to overanalyze. I'm not going to second guess. I'm just going to go with it. I'm going to see what happens. I'm going to trust what I'm feeling. And then when it's time to act, you'll just, you'll know. I promise you will know. You will not miss it. And there's some things like I, in my own life, when I look back and I'm like, I, the, the prompting was so subtle and I just it so naturally went with it. And then I'm like, oh my gosh, if I would have missed that sign, this, this, and this, and this would have never happened. And it like kind of freaks me out. But you've just, when you're in the flow and you're connected to your spirit, you will never go wrong. You will always pick up on those subtle cues and you'll just naturally go in that direction. But if we're all wrapped up in the mental body, worrying, over analyzing, that's when things get tricky for us. All right, let's pull you some advice. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Oh, the Holy Grail is within you. Tap into that sacred space of holiness, of light that is the purest essence the highest frequency and you know that in which you are because it's there it exists and it's strong like your life force energy your soul your spirit who coming in like overriding that busy mental body but um those of you that you know were attracted to this third unicorn You've really got to trust yourself and what you feel inside. You are not wrong. You are absolutely correct. Even if external reality does not support that yet, 
You've just got to trust yourself and let nobody sway you mentally with what with their chatter, their opinion, their advice, whatever. Like, just don't because you don't need it. You are golden. Like, you're set. It's like these things are set in stone. They're going to unfold for you. And you've just got to tap into that wealth of your light from within, like the Holy Grail within you. Oh, that is so freaking beautiful. Like you guys that were attracted to number three, I know you've probably been going through like a hard time or a lot of uncertainty or you've been um, like mixed signals, like really confused about is that what I'm supposed to do? Is that intuition? Like all of those things and um, it's coming to an end. Something is about to happen. Something is about to manifest. It's gonna. You're gonna know the moment when it's time for you to act or speak your truth, um, or something will be extended and offered to you, and then you'll know, and that just like takes you forward. But oh my goodness, with this reading, you truly have nothing to worry about. Um, your future looks very bright. Okay, whatever you asked about, it's gonna work out. It's gonna be okay. All is well. You are gonna be very emotionally fulfilled. So beautiful beautiful reading with this third unicorn those are your messages i'm sending you guys lots of love light and blessings take care hello there so let's see what this fourth unicorn has to say the messages this unicorn would like to bring forth for you guys give you some guidance clarity let you know what blessings are coming in so who do we have here? Ooh, we have the Unicorn of Dignity, and it says, Hold your head high and know the unicorns are supporting you. This is, don't be weary. Don't second guess yourself. You know, um, I when life happens and things just aren't working out for us, or it's just been hard, it's been a struggle, it's easy to lose hope, it's easy to lose sight of the blessings that we do have in our life. And this is, the, you know, this unicorn of dignity is saying you have nothing to be ashamed of. You should feel proud of who you are and what you are and where you've been and what you've been through and what you've overcome and pat yourself on the back. And anybody who judges you or looks down on you or discriminates against you, that's on them. That's not on you. Don't personalize their anger, their hate, their low vibrating energy, their ugly about them. Don't, you know, take it on and don't personalize it. Anybody who's projecting that energy towards you, it has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with the dysfunction and imbalance inside of them because even if you were a really, you know, just not a great person and all these things, the way that they respond to you, it says more about them than who you are because somebody who is evolved, who is coming from a place of wisdom, instead of attacking um, or trying to condemn, they would see the imbalance within you and try to offer the light, try to offer some advice, some constructive criticism, not attack and let me, you know, destroy you and all these things. So when somebody's coming at you in a really ugly, negative sense, that's on them. That's not on you. And don't let that, don't personalize their ugly energy and who they are and, you know, question yourself and look down on yourself because, again, um, if somebody's giving us constructive criticism, they're coming from a place of light, which is not an attacking sense. So we're more likely to be open to it. I'm not talking about that because sometimes we do all need some constructive criticism. And you can tell the difference by the delivery of the message, okay? Or, you know, by the person because sometimes there's people who pretend to be nice and, oh, let me help you. And they're not. And you, you already know that. But... You know, it's more in the delivery. If somebody's trying to deliver some information to you and you can tell that they're really coming from a place within where they think they have good intention, whether you agree with what they're saying or not, respond accordingly to that. You know, maybe take it to heart a little bit and think about it. But if somebody's just attacking you and condemning you and being ugly and disgusting, you just cut that noise out. Don't even 
um, let it penetrate you because that's them that's not you and your guides are really coming in strong saying like you have nothing to feel bad about ashamed for you are a divine human being just as everybody else and you are not less than anybody else you your the worth of you is equal to everybody and um they really want to lead you back to a place of love and honor and truly knowing the divinity that exists within you. So let's pull some more cards. Compassion. Look at this. Be gentle with yourself. Forgiveness will set you free. See the light in yourself and others. Yeah, right there. You are beautiful. And you know, when it's saying see the light in others, that's your spiritual team saying don't personalize somebody else's ugly because we're all divine within. And it's just each and every one of us has free will to choose where we operate. And it's a matter of consciousness and all of these things. So even somebody who is operating from a very low vibration, you can't judge them and condemn them anymore. They can, can, ju can judge and condemn you. It's just like, let them be who they are and don't personalize their behavior and trust this, you know, angels to handle them and to sort them out and go on about your journey and be loving to yourself. Be very gentle to yourself. Forgive yourself for anything that you hold guilt and remorse in your heart for, but also allow forgiveness of others so that you can be free. And it's not like you need to let anybody back in your life and, you know, think that you need to connect and bond with them again. No, when you forgive, it's you give yourself permission to no longer think about it and let it hurt you and harm you. It's the past. It can't be changed. It is what it is. And you make the decision that you want to move forward, you know, and reach for the highest good of you and leave all of that in the past. All right. Next out is growth. Seek out a mentor or guide. Take baby steps as you grow. Be willing to learn from others. So there is somebody that spirit is bringing onto your path that's going to really help you make sense of what's going on in your life, the different situations and circumstances that you've been through to help you heal, to help you forgive, to help you understand. So there is somebody spirit's going to bring in that... Um, you know, as you get to know them and you or you experience them, things in your own life will start to make much more sense for you. And you'll just have a better understanding of your own path. And now we have past lives. And this says, release your past life karma. You are an old soul and with a deep wisdom. Healing your past lives will raise your vibration. So this is an answer for many of you. Um, about certain things that you've been experiencing and going through. It's connected to past life energy, which is just incomplete lessons, all right, unfulfilled um, energy, all of those things. And you have been <clears throat> doing quite a bit of work on that this lifetime, like completing that. And in that space, you know, when we're learning and growing, we make mistakes, we screw up, we say and do things that we wish we could take back later on after we evolve and mature a bit. And so um, with this last reading, this fourth unicorn, it's really about it's time to let the past go. You're done with that. Um, whether it's this lifetime, it's time to forgive and let it go and be easier on yourself and just see what's up ahead for you and for others of you. It's, you know, the confirmation that you have finally completed a lot of past life energy, which you've been struggling with. And now moving forward, things are going to just start flowing much easier for you. But also because of that completion, you too um, must forgive and accept the past and leave the past in the past and realize that you've grown and evolved beyond it. So let's pull some tarot. Do a shuffle for you guys.
four of pentacles so yeah this is uh things being hard tight um feeling kind of on your own or just really not understanding why certain things happened coming through first card with this four of pentacles and nine of swords yeah a lot of confusion and i do feel like a lot of like you guys just really berate yourself and you shouldn't you should not next it's time for healing all the way around in the soul in the mental body in the emotional body Wheel of Fortune, yep, see, you have completed uh, some past life energy. The past is the past. It's time to look forward to what's ahead because things are turning in your favor with the Wheel of Fortune coming through. And look, Four of Wands. Yeah. You just got to give yourself, you know, the proper amount of time to heal and you've got to really allow yourself to let go of different things that have happened different things that have been said and again that does not mean letting toxicity back in your life through certain relationships that have hurt you and harmed you and damaged you even if now on the other side you've evolved and you've grown and you like who you're becoming and what's starting to happen in your life move into the new energy and leave the past in the past because you're in this healing phase right now and you know um the biggest part of where that's happening is in the mental body as well as like uh like physical so some of you this could be where you're starting to take better care of yourself or you're changing your diet or exercise you know you're just getting back in touch with your physical self because a lot of times when we get really depressed we completely disconnect from our physical self and we don't really care anymore right People just let themselves go when they've been really emotionally traumatized or hurt or it's just been a really long journey. It's just because you're fried, your energy's tapped, you know, and so some of you, that's the case where you just stopped caring and now you're going to um, come into, like, get back in tune with your physical self and, um, you know, realign to that energy. Others of you, this is about some money or resources, like, there's going to be healing to that and that's going to come in, but... The last bit of this journey is the mental body and your angels and spiritual team are trying to come in and help ease your mind and allow you to heal and release and let go of the past so that you can move into this new beautiful energy that's meant for you. You know, you've completed cycles, you've resolved karma and 2020 is the year things shift for you and it gets better. And again, don't look down on yourself and turn yourself away from people who attack you and try to tell you you're small or you know um, are excessively critical and like nitpicky because over time that really does wear you down it does and it takes away from your self-esteem there's nothing wrong with you we all make mistakes and um, you know for you guys I'm not even sure you made a mistake somebody could have just been falsely manipulating you making you feel bad because of their own emotional baggage you know projecting all of that nonsense onto you it, this is a general read so it's different for all of you but ultimately it's time to come back to a place of love and forgive the past and open your heart to the beautiful future that's you know ahead for you because the will is shifting in your favor things are going to turn out okay for you now let's pull one final card for advice oh yeah Mm -hmm. the rapture within you it is time for that to take place it is time for you to shed the old version of yourself the past feeling small you know major change coming um, within you in 2020 and I feel you know it's very closely attached to the time that you view this reading so the personal rapture um, or the sacred rapture needs to take place or it's beginning to take place within you and a big part of that is letting the past go and allowing yourself to transform into something new and embrace the new energy and the new possibility of all that you could be because it's very 
happy you know what's up ahead the will has shifted for you and the sacred rapture is ta taking place within you so wow wow all right so those are your messages i am wishing you so many blessings lots of love and light take care